What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I am super excited today because I am going to be attaching my swing out kit to the back of my van and also putting my cargo box on the back of the van as well. Hopefully all will go well and I will be able to get this done today. Uh, in this box right here is my swing out kit. It has two parts in it. One is the part that I slide into the two inch hitch on the back of my van and the other part is the actual swing out part of the swing out kit which I attach the cargo box to that. And in that big box right there that you see, that is my cargo box. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. But right now I'm gonna get to opening up this box and I'm gonna put the two parts on this cart and take it up to my car. I keep saying car when I have a van. Take it to my van and we're going to attach it to my van. This looks like the piece that I slide into the two inch hitch in the back of my van. I don't know, that thing look, that thing look wider than what's connected to the back of my van. <laughs> This box right here is the actual swing out. All right, this piece here is the actual swing out piece. I bought this from stowaway2.com. This piece right here, the words should be facing the outer part of the van. I'll show you when I get to my van. All right, here are the instructions how to install it, but it's really self-explanatory, hopefully. So, I'm gonna try my hand and doing it without this. All right guys, that's what the tow receiver looks like after being installed on the back of my van. All right guys, I'm gonna do the first step which is to insert this piece right there into the two inch hitch. All right, I put that piece in. <clears throat> the 
This right here is a hitch lock. <clears throat> this is a hitch lock. I bought this separately. I'm gonna attach that to there. It's an extra security measure. It comes with uh, two keys. And basically you stick the key in. Let's see. Okay. And it disconnects and then this goes in there. So let's do that. I'm hoping some grease. Shit. Oh boy. All right. I'm hoping some oil come with this. Some kind of grease. Because it's hard to get in there. I don't see any. All right, I had to remove two of these little rubber washers so that it could fit all the way through. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is add the security bracket on. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna sit this on the bar down there, like so. Now, bring it over here. Like that. And then I'm just gonna screw the nuts and washers onto the bottom. These are some long screws. Now I don't have my pliers or anything on me right now so that I can tighten these up. So I'm just gonna hand tighten them for the time being. And then I'll Tighten them up in a few. They won't come off because the, the, the screw is so long. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, that's what it looked like from the top. 
and then underneath that's what it looks like all right guys now let's attach the next piece Alright guys, today I am going to try and attach this humongous storage box to the back of my van. I'm a little intimidated by how big this box is. I didn't know it was going to be this huge. But anyway, let's tackle it and see how it goes. Alright guys, I put the front two screws in already. But before I could do that, I had to go back to Home Depot and get a bigger drill bit. Because the biggest one that I had in my kit was not big enough to drill a hole so the screws can fit through. So I got that. Now I'm about to do the bottom, the back two, and I'll be finished. Now I have to get underneath here. It's easier to drill from the bottom through the top because the hole is in the bottom. I wouldn't be able to know where the hole was if I tried to do it up top. Um, I also changed to a smaller drill bit because it's easier to drill through with this and then go through it a second time with the actual size bit. really should have some safety glasses on doing this stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then all I have to do is screw them in from the bottom and I'll be done. Bigger drill bit back in. And, and I should have, uh oh, where's my other screw? Alright, I found it. Alright, guys, I am done. The box is nice and sturdy. Oh yeah. Now, one of the things I really like about this box is this. 
that it doesn't cover up my license plate or it doesn't cover up my turn signals. So I didn't have to get any special wiring to put brake lights on the cargo box here because it's low enough that my lights could still be seen as well as my license plate. That's one of the uh, reasons why I really like this particular box. Another reason why I like this box is because it has uh, hydraulics on the inside. So when I open it up, the lid comes up, the top comes up nice and easy. It does come with a set of keys so I can lock it and keep it secure. And I really like that. Now let me show you guys how to unhitch it so that I can swing it out. All right, to swing this out, you have to unscrew this right here. You can see it coming um, out. All right, then you have to lift this orange handle up. And, okay, that's the first two things you have to do. And then on this side right here, you have to lift this pin up right here. Take this pin out. There you go. All right, that's really a bummer. But if I had to choose between being able to lift my hatch up and having the extra storage on the back of my van, I would definitely choose having the extra storage on the back of my van. So while it's a bummer, it's not the end of the world. I still get all the extra storage and I'm happy. So now I wanna take you guys through a short overview of how I installed everything because I know during the video I was all over the place <laughs> as I am when I don't read the instructions and try to do things on my own. So here's a brief overview of how things went. Okay, the swing out kit came with two parts as I mentioned to you guys before. The first part inserts into the tow receiver that I have connected to my van. I slid that in there in the two inch uh, hitch. Then I lined the hose up and I put my uh, hitch, my tow hitch lock on right there. Then after that, I went ahead and I put the uh, tow hitch tightener on, which is this bar right here. And it has two screws underneath right there. After I did that, I went ahead and connected the piece that the tow hitch box is sitting on, the storage box is sitting right here. Then the last thing I did was I connected the actual swing out that the tow, uh, cargo box is sitting on top of, which is this big screw right here, which goes all the way underneath here. And then I also inserted this pin right here that you have to remove in order to swing it out. Okay, before I let you guys go, there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and that's inside of my storage unit. I reorganized my storage unit once again, and I took a lot of you guys' advice. I bought two of these large plastic bins. I already had two in here, and I took all of my cardboard boxes, as you can see, and I lifted them off the floor and stacked them on top of the bins. Now, don't pay this little section here any attention because all of that stuff is going in my cargo box on the back of my van. Those are my camping things that I'm going to take with me. But once all of that is out the way, the only thing you're going to see in here is this little section here. That section there with the three bins stacked on one another and the 
merch and everything on top. And then you'll see that one bin that's down there and a couple of little things on top of that. Now, as simple as all of that may have sounded to you, it's never always that simple to me because I, so for some reason, I just refuse to read the instructions and try to tackle projects on my own and I get into a lot of trouble. But I also learn a lot by doing it that way as well. So one more thing I wanted to mention about this toe box is this is going to make a great space to cook with, to cook on. I mean, look how huge this space is. I can see me now having my uh, induction uh, uh, stove top on here, my cutting board on here. It's a really nice height. It's a really nice height for me to stand and be able to cook on. So I'm looking forward to using that in that way as well. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I'm really, really excited about having all of this extra storage on my vehicle all together, which is my rooftop storage as well now as my cargo box on the back of my van. I'm so excited. I'm leaving on Saturday and heading down to Florida or not quite Florida on Saturday, but I'm going to take about two days to get down to Florida. It might be three because I might stop somewhere. Who knows how long it's going to take because I'm not due at my first campground until January the 4th. So I have a lot of time to just mosey on down and stop here and stop there if I wanted to. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. Thank you.